A lot of people think the Mohawk Trail doesn't really start until it gets scenic. And by a lot of people, I mean people who actually know about it. They ask people in, say, southern Italy or something, when they think the Mohawk Trail starts, and they'll have no clue what the hell you're talking about. Which is not to disparage the geography teachers in that fine country or nothing, but... Anyway, the truth of the Mohawk Trail is that it starts in Boston. But, um, let's pick it up at 495. The first European settlers referred to it as the Indian Path, and used it, they, the Europeans, used it to travel from Boston and Deerfield, and up to the Dutch Settlements in New York. The actual Indians used it um, a lot more extensively than that. Of course, back then, because it was an Indian path, it was only like 18 inches wider, so they tend to travel in single file. But uh, then the Euros came over and needed to make it wide enough for the wagons and whatnot, and the, and the rails and so forth, and, and the Winnebago is like the one you'll occasionally get stuck behind. Um, back to the history, though, a lot of wars happened along this road. I mean, a lot of, a lot of wars and some history, um, people running from wars and stuff like that. A lot of history. I mean, you wait too much for me to really tell you here in under two minutes. And what can I tell you? There was um, some wars. Um, and there's also like a World War I time capsule towards the end next to a statue of an elk. And they don't want to open that until 2023, which is like the 100 year anniversary. That's right before you get the hairpin turn. Some sources say the trail originally went up to Canada, but they don't say if it followed Route 2 or Route 7 or just went some other way. I've been to Canada, but I, I didn't take the Mohawk Trail. At least I don't think I did. I could have. You know, again, they don't really tell you which way it went. It wasn't until October 1914 that the Mohawk Trail was designated a scenic tourist route by the Massachusetts legislator. They, um, they kind of take their time to get around for that. I mean, the road was around for 400 years or so, but... I guess it just took them all to check out the foliage or something. When you get all the way out to North Adams, you can check out Mass Mocha or Mount Greylock. Mount Greylock has much better hiking. That's because Mass Mocha is an art gallery. It's a pretty good one, but you know, just doesn't have that good of hiking. It takes about two hours to get out there from Lowell. This tape was sped up a little bit.